This video demonstrates how to record ODBC traffic using an ODBC query tool. From the Subperform Workbench, click File, New Project. This will display the Outline Project window. Scroll down the database and click ODBC. Give your project a suitable name and description if required, then click Next. When the Model Script window opens, close it as we first need to add the ODBC tool to applications. Click Settings, System, then Recorder and add to add the tool. First, you need to give the tool a name, then browse to its path in your computer. Make sure Program Arguments is empty and the application type is set to Custom Application. Finally, tick ODBC and click OK. You should now see the tool in your applications. To record a script, press the model script in your workflow bar and make sure the application profile is set to ODBC. When you start the recording, you should now see the recorder in the top right hand corner of the screen with a functions count. Hit connect and enter your connection string for your database. In this video, I am using a connection I have previously saved. Once connected, you should see the database schema. I will now enter a few queries for the purpose of this demonstration. Note, if your query isn't executing, you might have to add use, then your database name at the beginning. Notice the functions count increase as you query the database. When you have finished, make sure you close the application before you stop the recording. Finally, save your script, give it a suitable name and keep in mind you might have more than one script per project. Your script will now appear in Silk Performer showing all the actions carried out in the recording. ODBC Connect is your connection string. ODBC Open will associate a cursor. ODBC Define defines output variables for SQL select items. ODBC XDirect prepares and executes a SQL statement and the ODBC Fetch retrieves data from a query. At the bottom of the script, you will see the SQL queries that were recorded. In this case, my select query, which is executed here. We can show the results of these queries by running the try script. Note, you may have to change your insert data if you have unique fields. When we explore the true log, you can see the output of the select statement. You can also see the row we inserted. The next video in this series will demonstrate how to customize this script.